off down Andrew Keogh. Now the two-time world champion is back in centre ring once more. The Rock Daniel Dawson. Dawson about to go up against the King Sam Solomon in a marquee event. A real blockbuster. He leaps over the top rope. Can he go all the way? Daniel the Rock Dawson. Oh, it's going to be party time in centre ring. Making his way down the aisle is the man they call the King Sam Solomon. He has returned to kickboxing one last time in the hope of taking the cash. $10,000 winner takes all on the line. Can the King Sam Solomon defeat Daniel Dawson and move into the final of Judgment Day? Let's go to ring announcer Andy Raymond. It is semi-final number one, Judgment Day 2 here at Moravan. We are scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of Perth, Western Australia, had a first round knockout in quarter-final number one over Andrew Keogh. Ladies and gentlemen, The Rock, Daniel Dawson! In the red corner, so far, so good. A points decision in the quarters over Darren Kurovic. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam King Solomon! <laughs> the referee for the contest, Mr. Bright, first whistle. Your judges at ringside, Graham Waddell, Malcolm Bulmer, and Mark Corey. Well, you can really feel the energy surrounding this contest. A blockbuster. Sam Solomon against the Rock, Daniel Dawson. And Bryce Burwistle calls both men into the centre of the ring. Okay, okay. Good luck to both of you. All right, you know what you're doing. Let's go. This is the first semi-final of Judgment Day. The second semi-final will be Shane Chapman against Chris Collard in a rematch of last year's final. And one of these two men will move into the final. Daniel The Rock Dawson fought only a week ago up at Jupiter's in Queensland. We all saw that fight against Kenichi Ogata and Dawson dropped him. Sam Solomon returning to kickboxing after a long stint in pro boxing. He'll be heading back to England to forge his pro boxing career. And he's taken one last shot at kickboxing glory here tonight. Short right up up there from Sam Solomon, finding the mark early. Bryce Burt whistle separates both men. Well, Solomon's corner now calling for him to be first, as opposed to uh, what happened in his, uh, obviously, in the first eliminator for him against... Uh, Darren Kurovic, who uh, basically stalked forward and just grappled with uh, Solomon in that first round and just confounded Solomon very much so. Can it be an absolute Cinderella story here for Sam the King Solomon? We thought we'd seen the last of him in kickboxing. That was the word about town. But now he's back in centre ring and what an ask against a two-time world Muay Thai champion, Daniel Dawson. Nice solid one-two to the forehead there from Solomon. Well, Dawson, uh, Dawson's strong point is, is, of course, the Thai technique, especially his elbows. He has some wicked uh, elbow strikes, but there's no elbows allowed in uh, this type of... Uh, uh, tournament it is uh, under those modified tie rules so Dawson will have to just be content with uh, working his knees Solomon electing to tie Dawson up on that occasion Bryce Burwistle separates both men we are one minute ten down here in the first round set for three the quarterfinals and semi-finals three threes the final will be five threes a nice ripping left hand there from the King Sam Solomon Dawson ties him up and works a jumping right knee to the left rib cage over in the neutral corner just a couple of quick hellos. All the boys down at the Belgrade Footy Club, we hear there are big fight fans. Footy players watching the kickboxing, that's what I like to see, a few converts. So uh, hello to all the boys at the uh, Belgrade uh, Footy Club. Yeah, all the boys up puffing the way up there, they're on the 1999 premiers up there in Belgrade, but maybe they'll snatch it again this year, Hammer. Um, I'm going barracking for them. Don't bother <laughs> footy, but I'm there just for the Belgrade boys. Snappy jab just falling short of the target there from Sam Solomon. Again, those shots really coming from all angles. He just fires them out like a rookie pool shark, putting balls at will. And landing the leather on Daniel Dawson here in the first round under a minute to go. Putting balls at will. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm a poet, I don't even know it. Snappy one-two there by the King Sam Solomon. Dawson goes to the outside left thigh. A oh, whipping high left round kick there from Dawson. Just seared past, past the brow of Solomon. Turn him back, he got close range there from the King. This is a real tactical battle, this one, as Dawson tries a spinning back kick of his own. Oh, Dawson saying, if you can do anything, I can do it better. Solomon just smiles at him, says, not bad, Rock, not bad. Let's see if he can handle a little bit of my handiwork. Snappy one-two again there from the King Sam Solomon. Dawson really has to let his uh, right hand go. He's uh, 
very, very tight on the uh, on the hands at the minute. Dawson, there's a whooping oh, Beautiful high left now. He's just moving that ankle around the back of the neck of Sam Solomon. Solomon cracks away to the ribs with a right kick. Just catches the leg of Daniel Dawson. We're into the final seconds. There goes the bell into the first round hammer. Oh. A very much a technical contest. Nothing and Sam it. Solomon has turned it in to a kickboxing fight. Nothing in it. Uh, this one, in that the first round. A real feeling out process. Dawson, uh, a little bit... Uh, rigid I feel he should have uh, really let some technique go it's one of the lovely ring girls that uh, goes around from Crystal Tees we thank them for their support obviously I'm very thankful but uh, Daniel Dawson uh, now really needs to uh, adapt his game plan a little I feel once again we see uh, the big left from Solomon uh, just uh, rolling over the top of Daniel uh, Dawson's head Dawson trying to stalk forward, really not getting a clean grapple on. Beautifully timed ground kick to the side of Solomon's head, but he's very tough, Sammy Solomon. He, uh, he can take a knock and uh, give it back just as well. And uh, he comes right back with that leg kick after that one. That was a good scoring kick there from uh, Daniel Dawson. Well, so far tonight, four favourites have made it through to the semi-final stage. Sam Solomon perhaps ranked the second favourite in the whole tournament behind Shane Chopper Chapman and Daniel Dawson a close third. High left round kick again there from Daniel Dawson. Solomon, that cagey wide stance. It is so hard to read what he's going to throw at you at any given moment. Step up front kick to the kisser there from Solomon. Dawson's got his guard nice and high. Solomon's guard as always down around his waist. And you can hear Dave Hedgecock at that very moment saying, keep your hands up, Sam Solomon. So just a slip there from Dawson. As Solomon goes back to his best cagey oh. uh, self once again. That Pearl Harbor jab of Sam Solomon, you just can't see it coming. Nice cracking leg kick there, like a stock hook against the outside thigh of Sam Solomon. Dawson moves in again. He wants to work those elbows, Daniel Dawson, but he's not allowed to. And just gives him a little bit of a slap on the old tickler there with a nice leg kick to Daniel Dawson. Step up jab from Sam Solomon and a gut munching front kick. Dawson catching the kick, looking for the sweep out. We are one minute down here in the second round of action. First semi-final of Judgment Day. One of these two men will face the winner of Shane Chapman versus Chris Collard. Cracking leg kick to the lead guy there from Dawson. Oh, Solomon ties oh, him up. Oh, yeah. Side headlock almost. And Bryce Burleson takes Burleson a slip. Takes a trip down. And Bryce, actually, I'll tell you what, he's going to be in a bit of pain because he just had a knee operation just over oh, a week ago. So uh, I think Bryce is going to be in a little bit of pain there uh, after having that uh, knee, Rico. Good leg check there from Dawson, chopping away that left by a gain of Sam Solomon. Solomon taking some punishment to that lead by. And uh, Dawson really turning on the tempo here in the second round, Hammer. Dawson uh, just wants to close it up and, uh, and uh, really uh, trade some heavy shots with uh, Solomon. A looping wild left hand there from Sam Solomon. Those hands just dangling around his waist again. Look for the step up sticky jab to the kisser. Dawson goes chopping again away at that lead by. Good solid tactics here from Daniel Dawson, chopping away the lead leg of Sam Solomon. Don't forget Solomon's been out of the kickboxing game for a little while, so those legs might not be as conditioned as they were once in the past. Good We're into the final here. minute now of this round, a jumping knee from Dawson! Reminiscent of one of the jump, big jumping knees he did over in Thailand, wow. on one of the Thai champs over there. Saw that one in the video on uh, one of the brute force shows in Thailand, Daniel Dawson. Never uh, short of uh, throwing some exciting technique into a battle. Sam Solomon just trying to find a way through the guard of Daniel Dawson and launch that good night Irene right hand that he's become renowned for in the boxing circles. Nice turning kick there from Solomon. Even though uh, Daniel is shaking his head against that turning kick, it still is a scoring point. Exactly. It, uh, it did uh, hit the mark. Solomon a wild uppercut off the right hand, came close but no cigar. Dawson's got his high, his hands nice and high for protecting his temples. He did take a solid knock from Kenichi Okada that dropped him last week. A chomping leg kick there from Sam Solomon. End of the second round, Hammer. We've got one more to go. As well, we go to the towels, how do you see it? Well, Solomon uh, did probably rack up a few more points in that, uh, that the second round. First round probably even. Second, also pretty close. Maybe, just maybe uh, going the way of Solomon. But uh, nothing in this one. It's going down to the third round. Very obvious he's hurting. Oh, that's exactly what he's going to go for. But that's what he's going to go for. You've got to throw punches. You've got to keep throwing punches. Once again, we see uh, the jumping knee. Not really uh, getting uh, up to the uh, upper, upper body or the, the head of Solomon. 
Dawson's jumping then. He didn't really uh, latch onto the head. Tried for it. And uh, got it in caught by Solomon. But uh, nevertheless, a brave attempt uh, at trying something exciting, Daniel Dawson. Second is down. The third and final round. We are ready to rumble in round number three, the third and final round of this semi final of Judgment Day. Both men touch gloves, and Bryce Kurtwistle gets us underway. It has been a classic contest of guts, determination, and technical brilliance thus far. Dawson walks smack bang into a jab. Step up front kick didn't find the mark, but the right hand did from Sam Solomon. Solomon's corner, Dave Hedgecock between rounds telling him, yes, your leg is hurt. The lead five, Sam Solomon, has been hurt. He's got to start to use that handiwork. Inside fire kick from Dawson, just charging across the ring, tagged him with the right hand. Solomon ties him up, a little bit untidy, and Bryce Purpose separates both men. Well, this uh, is turning into a real strategic battle, this one with uh, both fighters pretty much negating what the other uh, the other's strength strengths are. Solomon, the KG veteran, looping left hook the game from him. And again, this fight brought to you by Cali Seaf and Ringside Promotions, ATF Fencing, one of our major sponsors here tonight. Sam Solomon just takes a slip down to the canvas. Well, ATF Fencing, they're uh, the table of boys from uh, that group are certainly enjoying this one. Tell you what, they need to build a solid fence to keep these boys away from $10,000 cash here tonight. Outside fire kick there from Daniel Dawson. Charges in and Sam Solomon should have stung him with the right hand. So Solomon uh, also looking a little bit battle weary after his uh, big fight with two. Of Beautiful takedown there from Daniel Dawson. Dawson uh, tidy bump. Oh, oh spinning heel kick from Solomon. Here comes the kick, Sam Solomon. Well, the crowd rallying behind Solomon now. They want the Cinderella fairy tale to come true for Sam Solomon. Well, Solomon certainly got a lot of support here. The crowd getting right behind it, but uh, take nothing away from Daniel Dawson after having that big uh, fight up uh, with uh, Jupiter's at uh, Jupiter's Casino just a week ago. He's uh, back in here, rumbling like never before. Oh, Dawson walks smack bang into a jab from the King Sam Solomon. He thought about another one of those Warwick Kappa style flying knees of his, then thought twice. Warwick Kappa, you're showing your age now. <laughs> Solomon moves in. Tags him with a right hand, good leg kick there from Dawson. Tags him with a right hand of his own. Again, Dawson showing that he can do anything better. Solomon just picking his shots, launches that straight right hand off the jaw. Dawson thought about moving with a slapping leg kick. Every time Solomon moves in, Dawson just shoots up that right knee. We're into the final 30 seconds now, the third and final round of action. It is semi-final number one. A one-two smack bang on the cranium there, then digs down to the ribs of Sam Solomon. Oh, Solomon tags him with a right That's hand, but Dawson goes up high. Come back, come, come back with a high kick of his own, Daniel Dawson. Oh, listen to this crowd. The atmosphere in here is electric at Judgment Day. Outside thigh kick from Daniel Dawson. Another cracker there from Dawson. He is really doing some damage on the front leg of Sam Solomon. Solomon breathing heavily, leaning down now, looking to launch that overhand right. Step up front, kicking close from Solomon. He went for the uppercut, but it's too much, too late. Well, End of the third round of action, Hammer. I wouldn't want to be a judge on this one. No, I was thinking that just as you said it, Michael. But I can tell you what, there's nothing in this. This is uh, a very, very tight one uh, indeed. Solomon may be doing too much. Daniel Dawson racked up some good, solid leg kicks there. They're going to score well for him. Not a lot of knee work. Uh, from either fighter, just uh, when they got into the grapple, they clinched up and uh, it became a bit messy. But uh, at range, Solomon just kept working there. You see Dawson trying for the takedown and affecting it quite nicely. And uh, once again, Dawson stalking forward, landing the leg kick, landing the uh, the kick up to the uh, neck area. So you've got to count that. Once again, uh, Solomon willing him on, Dawson stepping off. Both fighters having uh, a lot of trouble getting in uh, or getting through the guard of the other. Leg kick, got to pay that to uh, Dawson, so there's another scoring technique for him. And another one, even off the check, Dawson still rolled it over the top. So uh, Dawson negating that, caught the uh, right to the to the side of the head. Even Stephen, this one, I tell you what, I wouldn't mind, it, wouldn't mind seeing it go another round. But uh, it's, uh, it certainly uh, was a battle of wills and a battle of uh, skills and uh, nothing at all in it. Before we go to the judges' scorecard, what about that for semi-final number one, ladies and gentlemen? A nine-minute war.
We go to the judges' scorecard. We have a unanimous points decision. Judge Mark Corey scored the bout 29-28. Judge Malcolm Buller scored the bout 29-28. Judge Graham Waddell scored the bout 30-29. Your winner and first man through to Judgment Day 2, The Rock! Well, Mark the Hammer, we hope Andy Raymond will grab Sam Solomon for a word. It could be the last foray for one of the all-time great Aussie kickboxers, Sam Solomon. We'd certainly love to hear what Sammy has to say. And what a great battle that was. Don't worry, Brett. Come on. Let's get out of here. Andy Raymond's going to try and get a word with the King Sam Solomon. It may be the last time we see him in the kickboxing game. And he might be heading over to England to forge his pro boxing career. Let's go to Andy Raymond with the King. Sam Solomon. Sammy, you came back down under for one crack of the 10,000, but tonight it's not to be. Yeah, a bit ring rusty, but uh, all, all credit to Daniel. I mean, on a good day, still would have been a hard fight. Exactly the same. I, I could get all my, my hat off to him for a true champion. And I hope he wins it tonight. He deserves it. It's good work. We thought you were lost to kickboxing. You've been going so well in the Northern Hemisphere boxing. Is this it as far as kickboxing and Sam Solomon goes? I've always wanted the world title, but uh, I suppose yeah, my money's never good enough. But um, in uh, professional boxing, my dream is to get a world title, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm still going to keep up the kicks, only for one reason. That's because I love it so much. It's nothing to do with, with titles. And at the end of the day, I do it for the fun of it. And uh, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, you don't excel in what you do. So this is why I keep up with the kickboxing. There is a glimmer of hope, perhaps, ladies and gentlemen. Sam the King Solomon.